guys, how's it going? We are back again. Another review for the books. Um, I might get a little bit of a backlash or, uh, you know, toasted for this, but hey, we're going to review some Wicked Weed. And you knew that when you clicked on the title of the video. Um, this was kind of cool. I, okay, first off, let's just get all this out of the way. Yes, they are owned by AB InBev now. That was, I remember when that news came out, it basically shocked, uh, you know, the craft beer world. Um, Wicked Weed out of Asheville, North Carolina, they were kind of that brewery that um, you would last expect that to happen with. Um, you know, it, it's unfortunate. Um, I did visit the, uh, the brewery a few years back. Awesome stuff. Um, it was actually before the AB InBev thing, but um, their sour program is amazing. Their West Coast IPAs are awesome, um, and then their stouts are good. Um, but yeah, so I get where people are frustrated with it. I know it's always a bad thing when one of the our beloved craft breweries is bought out. Um, I get it. Um, you know, it's it's probably you know you won't you don't, a lot of people won't admit it, but it's hard to to think you wouldn't um, you know be tempted to do it if somebody comes in with uh, all this money um, and you know, telling you that your distribution can be widely, you know, or grown rapidly um, versus what it is now. Um, so I get it, guys. Um, I just I thought these beers looked good. Um, I've never been disappointed with any of the any of the beers that Wicked Weed has put out. Um, so I just I bought them. You know, it's it's cool. I, I think it's cool. Whatever. Let's just put all that aside and look at this for what it is, and it's beer. Um, this I thought was cool. This is a variety pack. It's like their, um, you know, their stout variety pack. I thought it was pretty cool. So we're gonna do all these. These are gonna be our next uh, four reviews. This one's got the French Toast Imperial Stout, brewed with cinnamon, vanilla, and maple syrup. The Milk and Cookies Imperial Stout, brewed with golden raisins, cinnamon. And vanilla. It's got a s'mores uh, imperial stout with chocolate, vanilla, and cinnamon. And then the German chocolate cake uh, brewed with uh, chocolate and coconut. So, uh, on the uh, box here it says, If these stouts make us guilty, then we don't want to be innocent. Give in to the decadence of German, German <laughs> chocolate cake, the sweet satisfaction of French toast, and the nostalgic goodness of s'mores and the comfort of milk and cookies. Uh, give in to guilty pleasures. So... I like the label on this box a lot, though. So uh, today we're actually going to jump right into the um, French Toast Imperial Stout. And Wicked Weeds always got cool bottles. They got the little, I guess it's like hop, the like hop cones or something. I don't know around the top. And actually, when I did the tour of the brewery, uh, the sour program. Um, they actually have a lot of their bottles. I, I think it's just for their sour stuff um, specifically, um, but those bottles are shipped in um, from overseas because they um, want their sours stored in those type of bottles. But anyway, it's a story for another day. Um, yeah, this is the French Toast Imperial Stout, and like I just read, it's the uh, brewed with cinnamon, vanilla, and maple syrup. Um, French Toast Imperial Stout is a robust, dark stout complemented by zesty cinnamon, smooth vanilla, and the comforting sweetness of only the best maple syrup. This was bottled on August 8th, 2019. So, a little over four months in the can, going on five. 8.8% alcohol by volume. Let's uh, get into this, even though I don't have a bottle opener, so I'll be right back. Back. Let's uh, get into this here. I'm excited about it. Pouring a pretty dark cola like character. It's got a brownish uh, hue to it. Big uh, fluffy khaki head on it. It's uh, completely dark. Right around the bottom of the glass, I can see um, a brownish glow, I guess you could say. 
Um, super compact around the edges. It's pretty soap sudsy, frothy like on the uh, interior there. Oh, I can smell it from here. Let's get our nose in it. Let's see what it uh, has for us today. Definitely get the cinnamon up front. A little bit of chocolate going on. Maybe um, just a little bit of the maple syrup. It's not super prominent on the nose. Definitely smells sweet. The chocolate and the cinnamon are kind of at the forefront, though. Let's taste it. Let's see what it's all about. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. I kind of wanted it to be a little bit bigger on the nose. Or on the palate. Um, but everything kind of melds together um, pretty nice. Uh, the, cinnamon, the cinnamon is subtle. Um, it's not overpowering by any means. Um, a little bit of the chocolate character there. Um, the body on it is, I would say, medium minus probably. I could uh, definitely do with a little bit more of the, a little bit better body on it, or thicker body. The maple comes through almost like it does on the on the nose. Um, it's very light. Um, I'm kind of having to search for it a little bit. Um, being five months in the bottle, I don't know if this possibly, you know, some of these flavors have fallen off a little bit. Um, it mentions um, vanilla too, which I mean, I'm getting a sweetness. I mean, that sweetness, I guess, is the vanilla. It's not very, like, vanilla in your face. Um, I don't get the vanilla on the nose, really, either. Um, and, it, you know, like I said, it's got a sweetness to it, which I'm guessing is um, partly because of the vanilla character. So, um, I don't know if I, you know, if I hadn't read the bottle, I don't know if I would say there was vanilla in this or not. It's a good beer, though. I look forward to drinking the rest of it. Um, probably, I mean, it's not its not going to blow your hair back. It's, you know, it's not a, some world-class beer. Um, and, you know, I don't know if it's even supposed to be. It, it's just, it's as advertised. Um, it's got the flavors that they're going for in it, which I guess is the most important part. Um... So yeah, I mean it's it is what it is. It's it's a it's a stout, um, medium medium minus bodied stout um, with a little bit of chocolate, cinnamon, uh, some sweet uh, characteristics that are probably from the vanilla, uh, and then you know it's it's pretty. Uh, let's see here. I mean it, it sticks around. Um, being eight point. 8.8% is definitely not drinking like that. It's drinking, for me, more like a 6.5% or so. Um, so the alcohol is really well hidden. Um, it's a good beer. I mean, I would drink it again. Um, it's perfect for a, you know, a cool night. So um, as far as a rating goes from me, and I've said this so many times in all the other videos, I'm not an expert. I'm not like, you know, I, I'm just giving you what I think it's, rated out of five. I use the untapped scale. Um, for me, this is going to go like three, seven, five or so. It's definitely, you know, it's, it's worth, worthy of drinking again. It's worthy of being in a conversation for, you know, a better stout. Um, but it's not amazing. So, uh, guys, if you've had this, let me know. Um, this is probably widely distributed, I would think now. Um, 
So maybe some of you guys have had it. If you have, I would love to know what you think about it. Um, until next time, guys, we will uh, we'll just actually probably go down the down the list here. Um, next will be milk and cookies, and the s'mores, and the German chocolate cake. So until next time, guys. Cheers.